skincare routine to keep my skin healthy and glowing and for the most part breakout free other than the pesky occasional breakout from hormones or if I'm not eating right. So I'm starting by pulling my hair back and then I'm going to be using this regular cotton round and also this exfoliating cotton round which has little bumps on it and then I'm using this jojoba oil by Cleganic and I'm starting by taking my makeup off. So the way I like to do this is I get some warm run, one, running water, that's a mouth tongue twister, and I get some on my fingers and then I slowly rub the mascara off my eyes, then I take a little oil in my hands, rub it around, and then I rub that over the mascara. As you can see, I have raccoon eyes. The oil really helps break the makeup down and then I take a wet, regular cotton round like I showed you, I wet that and then I use that to take the um, leftover residue from the mascara and eye makeup off. And the oil just really breaks it down so when I go over with the wet cotton round, it comes off really easy. So I start by taking my eye makeup off and then to take my face makeup and cleanse my face, I wet my skin down and then I'm going to be taking the exfoliating cotton round, the one with the little bumps on it. Um, the one side has little bumps and the other side is kind of like a regular cotton round. So I start off with the regular cotton round side and I wipe my skin down to get um, any of the residue and leftover makeup off, off my skin. And I don't wear heavy face makeup. When I do, sometimes I will do this twice to make sure I get it all off. But so I wipe my skin down, wet it again, then I take the exfoliating side and I rub at my skin and kind of scrub all the makeup off as you can see like this and then I bring it down my neck too because I don't want to forget that especially because I bring the makeup down my neck and then I'm going to re-wet my face and then I'm taking more of my jojoba oil um, putting that in my hands and then I'm rubbing it all over my face like you would a typical cleanser because this is what I'm using in replacement of a cleanser and then I wash it off my skin and you never fully wash it off you're gonna feel like you still have some oil on but that is perfect because that means once we dry our face off it's not gonna be dried out from cleansers and it's gonna stay moisturized I found cleansers just broke out my skin and dried it out but when I started using this oil to cleanse my face it got so much better and then I pat my face dry, I try not to rub it. And then about once a week, I use this Malin Plus Goetz Clarifying Clay Facial Mask. And it has tiny little beads in it, so it's amazing at, at exfoliating and sloughing off the dead skin that's left over on my skin. So I'm putting this all over my face, and once I get it on, I'll probably leave it about 20 minutes. And I only do this about maybe once a week. Honestly, sometimes I go longer than that. I use it when my skin needs it. Um, if it feels like, like I've got a lot of dead skins building up or anything like that, that's when I'll use it. And you can see the little beads in it. So I'm going to leave that for about 20 minutes, and then once it's done, I wet my hands, then I take them and I scrub the mask into my skin to really exfoliate it, and then I wash it off, pat my face dry, and then I'm following up with this Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. It just soothes my skin, cools it down, and just really balances the pH back out. And then I'm taking my Jade Roller and um, I'm going to be rolling my face. This helps with puffiness, drainage, it gets the lymphatic system moving, good for redness, all of that kind of stuff. There's so much that it's good for. And I start inwards on my face and then I roll out towards like by my ear because that's one of the drainage points. So I always bring everything I roll to my ear on my face. And then on my neck, I roll down towards the collar collarbone because that's where it drains out any puffiness and excess water like built up under your skin. Then I'm taking this vitamin C serum from Lily Anna Naturals and I'm putting this on my face. This stuff is awesome. I love it. It really helps make my skin glowing and just helps the oil that I put on after that really soak into my skin. So following that, I'm putting more jojoba oil onto my skin and I really like to put extra on after I've done that face mask and really rub it in there. So my morning routine is a little different than my night routine. My morning routine just consists of the Rose um, Witch Hazel Toner. I use a cotton pad, wipe my face off. I go in with my Jade Roller. I put the Vitamin C Serum and then the jojoba oil. Then at night, I take my makeup off, use my oil, then I scrub my face, get the makeup off, wash it with the oil, then I go in with my um, Witch Hazel Vitamin C Serum, oil, 
and then this eyelash serum which is from um, Majestic Pure I believe it was it's a castor oil and it came with this little brush so I put it on my lash line and then I brush it through with the little spoolie so that's what I do at night I don't usually wash my face with the oil in the morning because it just isn't necessary unless I get in the shower and need to wash my hair that morning then I'll wash it just because I don't like shampoo and that being on my skin and then I brush that through my eyebrows and that's my finished skincare routine. It's very simple, it really doesn't take me too long and after I'm done I feel so refreshed, my skin feels clean, all of the makeup is off and I just feel so much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe you'll try a couple products out. Let me know if you do and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!